This is WCVB-TV, Channel 5, Boston. From Fairway Sports World in Natick, our champions Ed Zernike from Webster and John Zernike from Webster take on Dan Gallant from Franklin, Massachusetts and Bill Hart from Pepperville, Pepperville, Mass. That's easy for me to say. This is Cattlepin Doubles. Say that three times fast. Pepperell, pep, pepperable, pep, pepperell, pepperell, pepperell. Welcome to Candlepin Doubles. I'm Ed Harding, and thank you for letting us be a part of your afternoon. You know, Bill Hart is from Pepperell. Bill, where do you, and the reason why I'm asking is, he does something that's very dear to my heart. Where are you with Seafood Deli? The Star Market? When I was in college, the one over the turnpike in Newton, I was a seafood deli clerk. I worked, I, so see, I like that, a fellow butcher. Here, get over here. I have to shake hands with a fellow butcher because... You know, we got to stick together. Once a butcher, always a butcher, right? <laughs> That's what they... Hey, listen, if you were watching the Kendallpin show just before us, Don Gillis' show, wasn't that a great run by Paul Berger of 500? That was terrific. The highest what, Don, in the 34 years of the show, the highest in the 34 years of the show, and interestingly enough, Ed Zernike still has the, the high single, right? 197 on that? So Ed's here. Paul Berger's already done the 500. See what you guys got in front of you? See how see what a, what a show you've got to follow? Dan goes, hey, no problem. All right, guys, it's all yours. No problem. Zernikis are wearing the dark red shirts. Dan Gallant and his partner, Bill Hart, in the light blue. First ball, first box, and we're underway. It's the cumulative score at the end of two strings of bowling that decides who our champion is today. For three weeks in a row, it's been the Zernikes. Couple of nines get us going. John Zernike has an average of 120 with a high single of 211 and a high triple of 454. Patterned approach by the Zernikes. It's been successful. Dan Gallant has an average of 127, high single of 199, a high triple of 503. And that's the shot he has in front of him. Both bowlers mark in the second box. These two guys will bowl the first five boxes of each string. They hand it off to their partners who will finish it out. If there's a tie at the end of the two strings, each man will throw a box. The first of two bonus balls from John Zernike. He can easily fill that strike with 10. Here's the bonus ball for Dan. Goes flush right through it and fills it with three lonely pins. John only fills that strike with nine. Chance to remind you that next week, because of the Indy time trials, there will be no double show. We'll be back in two weeks with the first of our three NBA state finals. Men's doubles will lead us off on that event. We'll be coming to you from Haverhill. So we move into summer. A nine in box three for Dan Gallant and a 10 in box three for John Zernike. We move to the fourth box, seven pin lead for our champions. Oh, 
Dan was at one time the WCBC Pro Bowler of the Year. By the way, pins are still falling for John Zernike. He has that delay pitch that goes in and two or three minutes later, pins fall. There's Wood in front. Zernike can mark it. Oh, strangely enough, he gets the seven. That would have been the one I thought would have stayed, but it didn't. An eight and a ten in the fourth box. Galant and Cernke, we move to the fifth box. Nine pin lead for our champions. Ed Zernike and Bill Hart are waiting to bowl, and they will do so. But first, these two guys will finish up the fifth box. Second mark of the afternoon. For John. Second mark of the afternoon for Dan. So each man leaves his partner a bonus ball as we will move to the second five boxes of the first string. But first. Time for the partners to finish us out in the first string. Ed Zernike and Bill Hart. Here's Ed. There's Ed. Both men are filling. Bill Hart does a little better job. He fills with eight. And he marks for the second straight box. Three straight marks will earn you $50. Three consecutive strikes will earn you a thousand. Cernike's fill was only three. And the lead through boxes scored is only four. But an actual pinfall is even tighter. Nice fill. Tough leave, but nice fill. The fill is eight. The Hart Gallant team have taken the lead. I've always been confused with that. Is that the Hart Gallant team have taken the lead or has taken the lead? Thank you. I asked Al Gilio, who's a member of the school committee of Methuen. You know, I figured a school committee guy could tell me the proper English. But in the true sense of the politician, he said yes. Six pin lead for the challengers, Gallant and Hart. The Zernikis, if you've been scoring with us the last few weeks at home, have not trailed at this point in either of their matches. They've gotten off to a lead and held on to it. I'll tell you what, there's a there's a swing and two balls, a strike from Bill Hart and Ed Zern, he could have, should have, maybe picked it up, but didn't. So he puts up a 10 in the eighth box instead of a mark with a bonus ball. So in two of the three boxes that Bill Hart is bold. He's been able to mark in him. And it's been a string of 8 10 10 for Ed Zernike. The lead, which had reached nine pins, has fallen off through boxes scored to six pins. Here's a fill. The fill is seven. First. Remember, he's got a second bonus ball. Very probable he could fill with 10. It's been a very steady five boxes here for Bill Hart. He hasn't bowled all five yet, but he's marked and filled with eight, dropped 10 in the seventh, strike and filled with 10 in the eighth, and marked in the ninth. And he's turned it into a 16 pin lead. Going 
be tough for three consecutive marks, but the fill is six. There's a mark for Ed Zernike, and there'll be an extra ball, which is precisely what he needs. Good effort. I'll tell you what. Bill got all three and almost had enough movement in it to get out the fourth one that was standing. Best he can do in the box is 10. That's what he does. Very strong finish from the Galant Hart team and a 131 pinfall. And the fill is going to be, will not be seven, it will be six for Ed Zernike. Well, the fill is six and the lead is 17 pins for Dan Galant and Bill Hart. The Zernikes face a deficit as we move to the second string. So in 17 pins, but nonetheless, it's a deficit. We have that string for you, but first, we have this. Second string here on doubles, and Bill Hart has handled, handed a 17-pin lead over to his partner, Dan Galan. First ball, second string. And John Zernicke has the task of starting to dig out of the hole. A lot of oohs and ahs in those last two throws. So, wasn't the same ball, same spot. It was about three inches to the left. Well, how do you figure that? A disappointing nine and a, a, even a more disappointing five in the 21 pin lead. Second box, second string. Cumulative score at the end of two strings of bowling decides who our champion is. Right now, in the strength of what Bill Hart has done at the end of the first string, the pressure's on the Zernikes. And that's what you get. Zernike with a strike in the second box. Dan Gallant with a nine in the second box. A 10 in the second box and a 19 total pinfall in the second string. Fall is seven and it's a decent leave. It's the first of the two bonus balls. Wavering, will it go? No. John can fill with 10. Well, that's how you do it. You fill with 10, and you mark in the next box, and you're only 11 pins back. Good fall here. We'll drop that deficit down to single digits. Here's the bonus ball. Cuts it down by eight. Well, let, let's just tighten, tighten it up just a little more. Three pin lead through boxes scored. Danny Gallant with a mark of his own. John Zernike can mark as well. Three consecutive marks for the Zernikes. There's bonus money. The difference is three pins. The challengers have three more. Each man is throwing a bonus ball, so the difference in the gap will be affected right here. The fall for Dan. Good fall. It's, it's eight. It's nine. The fall is nine. The fall for... How do you do to four goes one better? There's four consecutive marks for the Zernikes. And Dan Galant goes out marking in the fifth box as well. So neither one is going to go down without kicking and screaming and fighting and scratching and clawing. And that's what they're doing. We move to the sixth box, second string. We change bowlers. Bill Hart and Ed Zernike will step up and finish this match. All right, break it up. 
eight. Look at that. Isn't that a great match? Just two pins separating them. This is the first of the two bonus balls off the strike. Seven stays, but I'll tell you what, it was an intelligent approach. He's got it wobbling, and he'll get it to fall. What a nice pickup. That's five consecutive marks. He fills the strike with ten, and he is taking the lead by how much, Al? Hit the, hit the computer button. It's a dead even through boxes scored, but with the ten that he's already dropped, he's, and the ten that's there, so it's dead even, so the difference would be the other one. How do you like how I walk through this computer-like calculation? It's the same way I correct my daughter's homework. <laughs> She's in third grade, I should remind you. <laughs> you fill it with six and the four horsemen left stay. We could see some bonus balls off of this one. Bill Hart gets his mark in the seventh. And if these all go, we get another one for the Zernikes. They all do not go. So the string of one, two, three, four, five marks in a row stops for the Zernikes. They'll put up a 10 in the seventh. And six spins of the difference. So if Bill Hart's bonus fall is larger than six, they will take the lead. If it's six, they're leaving it. Six is the magic number. What is it? It's eight. Is it nine? It's, uh, it's, I can't believe the 10 is just falling apart. All 10 just fell apart, courtesy of Ed Zernike. That's a great match. They're just standing there pounding on each other. Big sound, big spare, the eighth box. The minus two is in reference to the challengers. The, cha the challengers have a two pin lead. Through the box is scored. Phil is seven. I First of the two bonus balls off the strike, yield Ed seven. Each man can mark in this frame too. No. Second of the two bonus balls. You could just feel that coming. The fill on the strike is nine. The score in the ninth box for Bill Hart is nine. And it's a 10 for Eddie Zernike in the ninth box. We move to the 10th box. One pin separates us. Zernikes have one more pin than Galland and Hart. One pin. Let's see what happens. Bill Hart starts out with seven in the fall a tough leave. Ed Zernike drops eight. That's tough. There's some wood there. Both men can use it. Here's Bill Hart. If Ed Zernike drops all of these, they have come back. One pin. It's a one pin match. All right. It's dead even. Right now, at the very least, it's dead even. This is to win. And Ed Zernike's pleading that that wood just stay back. He's got a clean shot at the 10. Whoever figured the last pin, the last string. We have overtime. Dead even after two strings of bowling. Each man will bowl one string. And the winner will be decided off of that. Dead even will bowl one box. Dead even. 
Do you believe that? Ed Zernike found the narrowest of spaces and missed. Dan Gallant and John Zernike will start. One box. So that's the shot that John Zernike has in front of him. Dan Gallant does not provide himself with a bonus ball. So the best he can do is 10. Let's see what happens. Zernike's second ball. Got him! He gets the bonus ball! How do you do? This is Bill Hart. One box each guy. Bill, that's a spare leave. Now this is to fill. This is the bonus ball. Right on. Fills with seven. Fills with eight, maybe. No, nope. just slided it. Slid it, slided it, slid it. All right, Bill Hart's going to throw another ball. Let's see what happens with Ed. Oh my heavens! How do you figure this out now? I'm going to sleep here. The best that Eddie can do is put up a 10. And that's what he does. Now what Billy Hart has to do with his bonus ball, Don Riley. He has to do seven to tie, and he better wins, and he less he loses. So the fall has to be seven. Eight to win, six to lose. Here it is. He won! Do you believe it? Do you believe the finish? He dropped all 10 pins at an overtime. Bill Hart and Dan Gallant beat Ed Zernike and John Zernike. Oh, what a terrific match. We'll be back and talk with them right after this. Last ball, last ball, and they win it. Remarkable. Stay with us. The Zernike $650, and our congratulations on a great show. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, guys. The champion, $700, and our congratulations on a great show. And as we leave you, I remind you once again, it was my butcher brother from Star Market that came up with the big shot they won. For all of us on Doubles, I'm Ed Harding. Have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody.